So, uh, today's the big day. That you break your diet? No, that you put a bid in. You've done yours yet? No. Thought I'd pop over and do it later. No, I remember the first time I bought my motorhome. It was such a step up from a caravan, like moving from a bedsit to a palace. Well, if we don't get this house, Mary, we might well be looking at a motorhome. I don't know what I do when we walk, Trevor. Oh, hi, I could help you downsize. I am a fully capsule. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So, so the boost for tonight. Yep, on the spirits. Just come over to the flat first before you go to speed down so you can get your costume on. What costume? Well, it's a superhero theme, so I've got you a full Spider-Man morph outfit. No funny business, you promised. No, I promise. You're not going to end up tied to a radiator or on a ferry to Boulogne. Don't forget, I've got to do the bids at number one first and stop the fight. Yeah, well, good luck with that. Speaking of a fight... I thought I'd put the bag on the pram. All oh, right, no, so it'll be, yeah, it'll be by the front door then. You've got keys, right? Oh no, nappies, they they'll be by the sink. I'm sorry, I've got a lot of things to think about at the minute, you know, stag doing that. All right, yeah, cheers. Bad dad alert. Stop talking rubbish, you're doing perfectly well on your own. Ha, huh, funny, you thought about doing stand up. If you've come to try and talk me out of bidding, you can forget it. Oh, I can be bothered with that, Tracy. Mary, big punch them, please. Oh, bien sûr, mademoiselle. <laughs> Fifteen pounds, s'il vous plaît. Oh. Oh, um, uh, Peter. Yeah, hang on a sec. Design magazines, bit previous, aren't you? What are you doing? Never you mind. All right. Sorry, what was that 15 you said? Muchas gracias. Ooh, you've got the right bundle of languages going on there, haven't you, Mary? Well, I, I like to think of myself as a citizen of the world. I have the blood of many races flowing through my body. <laughs> well, there's no comeback to that, is there? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you forgot your coffee? Finish it. What did you just look at? Back to your blooms, Mary. You said he was on his way. Yeah. Where is he? I didn't ask. Oh, he could be in town. Well, I'm not sitting here for another half an hour. I'm sure he's not too far away. You didn't ask. Here he is. Hey, sorry I'm late. I got caught up. Start the stag too early, did you? <laughs> no, of course I didn't. Good, good, because I want a sober adjudication of these bids. Yes, well, let's get on with it then. Some of us have got a dealie boppers to get on. Peter and Carla, can I just clarify that you've sealed this yourself? I have. And nobody else has seen it? No. Right. The bid is £130,000. Blimey. Higher than I thought. Tracy and Steve, can I clarify that you've sealed this yourselves? Nobody else has seen it? No. Um, no. OK. This bid is £135,000. What? No, it isn't. Sure, you've not been drinking. <laughs> what? I suppose. No, fair's fair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, looks like the house is yours. Congratulations, sis. What can I say? Cheers, bro. <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> Steve. Oh, uh, thanks, Carl. <laughs> So last night freedom, eh? I'm looking forward to captivity. 
Really? You don't look like him, pal. Look at him, he looks like a man on his way to the gallery. <laughs> I'm a bit of stressful afternoon. Ah, time to loosen up there. Didn't you say you had a bottle of tequila? Uh, yes, yes, yeah, over here with the booze. Uh, Alia, can we uh, get some shots? We can't actually serve the alcohol. Oh, come on, just this once. I brought shot glasses. Sorry, you'll have to pour it yourselves. Oh, fine. It's not like I'm not used to serving people. Right, who wants a shot? Me. Hey. Oh, not for me. Shame about Dad, isn't it? Is he all right? Uh, he said he wasn't in a party place. I can understand. I think giving up the house has hit him hard. Well, even though it's in his own family. Even so, it's a big change for him. Oh, well, I'm more booze for us. Uh, David, you having one? Yeah. No, I'll stick to beer. He will, he will. Yeah, right, doubles all around then. <laughs> right, everybody got a shot who needs a shot? Mm -hmm. OK, here we go. To Adam, oh. down in one. That sounded a little bit rude, but it wasn't meant to. Anyway, never mind. To Adam. Adam! Hey! Business. Well, it's because she's a learner, Mary. Yeah, but a learner in what? I mean, you can't learn to be a bride. Oh, oh uh, I think it's about the bedroom. Oh, oh, oh yes. A learner in the arts of love. Ooh. You're right, though, Mary. It's totally point. Well, it is in my case. Oh, oh you passed test me. <laughs> I think round this table we've all passed our test, don't you? In actual fact, I qualify for being an instructor. <laughs> You've got your HGV license. <laughs> Right, so I like muscular men. No wrong with that. <laughs> Give me a four by four over a mini any day. <laughs> Thank you. Did I tell you what I'm wearing tomorrow? Yes. yes. Uh, oh, oh, sorry. I'm just so chuffed. I'm, it's proper designer and only 40 quid. Well, I just love Weatherfield Outlet Mouth. Where's Bethany? She says she'll be here in a minute. Oh, it's a bit shoddy for the maid of honour to be late, isn't it? Where have you been? Accepting my internship. The boss wants me to start next week. Oh, my God, you are joking me. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh I'm so glad you changed your mind. Me too. I know it must have been a hard decision leaving Daniel, but you can come back at the weekends. Yeah, of course I can. Everyone, yeah. so we've got something else to celebrate. Oh, no, please. Bethany has accepted a job in London working for a magazine. Oh, wow. <laughs> can you do an espresso martini? Oh, I could do your filter coffee with a shot in it. Oh, go on then. Do you fancy doing up where we belong? I'll do it. Oh, great, you've got to be Joe Cocker though, because I'm always Jennifer Warren. Happy to be Cocker. <laughs> You're right, Mary. Yes. How I'd love to wear a veil one day. I didn't wear one when I married Norris. It wasn't the most romantic of weddings. I felt wrong somehow. And then there was Brendan. But fate declared that not to be. Well, I'm sure Mr. Rat's out there somewhere, isn't he? I hope so. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. In the meantime, what about that? Oh, beautiful. Oh, have a drink. You're not satisfied trashing Sinead's memory. Now you're taking her son away. She's doing nothing of the sort. Well, that's not what I hear. No, she's going to London and taking a job, actually. I know. And she's taking Daniel and Bertie with her. I... Please tell me she's joking. I was going to tell you after the wedding. Bertie's the only thing I've got left to my niece. And now you're trying to get rid of every bit of her. Is this Daniel's idea? No, it's what we both want. Oh. Where are you going? Just leave I'm it. not letting you make the biggest mistake of your life. <laughs> yeah, I heard you get quite handy with a cutlery after you've had a few. No, 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 no. It's just my natural rhythm, man. Daniel! Daniel, how can you be so selfish? Hey? Why can't you just let her go? Beth told her about London. How did she find out? I knew it. You just couldn't keep your trap shut, could you? You knew about it. No, I told Beth because she was dissing you and I was sick of it. Look, what we do is our business. No, like... actually, Daniel, it's not your business when it's going to ruin lives. She's taking the job. That's what you want. No, not with you and Bertie and so it's not. Why not? Because, look, 
She just needs a fresh start. She needs to concentrate on her career. She doesn't need to be tied to a guy who is grieving, messed up and has got a baby. I love him, Mum. Darling, he is not ready. He'll drag you down. Who are you to tell me that I'm not ready? You don't even know me. Hey, calm down. I can't believe you didn't tell me. I just found out this afternoon. Well, then why didn't you just pick up the phone? I didn't want to ruin your night. Oh, well, it's a bit late for that, isn't it? It's true. Yes, yes, it's true. Everybody, me, Bethany and Bertie are all moving to London. Oh, Way! Thank you. Thank you. But, Dad, what about him? He'll get over it. It's only London. Can't you see that this is a mistake? She's made her choice. I think you should go. Well, it's not going to be the end of the conversation. And thank you, Adam, because at least I know know where your loyalties lie. He's making a terrible mistake. Yeah. Well, I tried to tell him that, Dad, but you know what he's like. Anyway, I don't know. I mean, he, he might change his mind once he's had time to think about it. Who knows? Oh, Daniel. We can only hope. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Oh! Uh, what are you doing here? I thought you'd be at the stag do. Yeah, it all fell apart. How do you mean? Well, uh, Sarah came in. She had a go at Daniel. Was he's thinking about moving to London with Bethany? What? I don't know. Everything's just changing so quickly. And it seems like yesterday I was arguing with Deirdre about decorating this room. She was determined to have this wallpaper. I agreed in the end, and then hated it at first, but oh, oh, I've come to love it. Dad, oh, um... I know you want to redecorate love, and I understand that, but I mean, time moves on. About the house, that the thing is, we... Yeah, but look, also, I know I shouldn't say this, but I'm glad that it went to you. Deirdre would have wanted Amy to grow up here, you know. You know? Just feels right, doesn't it? I understand. We'll look after the place. I promise you that. <laughs>